you so very much for coming out. I was trying to figure out um, the proper way to introduce myself in French, and I had six different opinions. <laughs> and so I'm just going to be like, I fucking love Paris. It's so great to be here, and thank you so much. <laughs> um, I'm here to the, to the good grace of God, and the drive-by truckers, and the drive-by trucker crew. Um, and my name is Jerry Joseph. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, um, if, if you ask my wife, I, I talk too much, and um, <laughs> when I try to tell the stories about the songs, it, it takes longer than the actual songs, and it's a very short set. Um, I wrote this song in, in Iraq. I, I do a thing, I take guitars and I go to war zones and I teach kids how to play the guitar. Woo! Mostly I teach them how to go, yo, 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 like Bob Marley, and, and, and it makes them very happy. And, um, so I wrote this song there that doesn't have shit to do with Iraq. Um, a lot of my latest record, it's called The Beautiful Madness. It's available in the corner. It was produced by my friend Patterson Hood. He's the singer of the Drive by Truckers, the Drive by Truckers. And the theme of The Beautiful Man is a lot of it was about marriage. Everybody writes the song where you meet the person. You know, like, I saw her across the bar, and she was my spirit animal. She fucks like a jaguar. You know? it's like, everybody writes that song, and then, and then they write a song about the same person. 10 or 15 years later, we're like, she ripped my fucking heart out. She ripped it into the fucking dirt. And uh, what I've been interested in is writing about the middle. Sometimes I'm, I'm doing the dishes. And I look over at my wife and I, and I go, do, do, do you even like me? And, uh, and there's a long pause, man. Like a long time. And she like kind of looks at me and finally she'll say, the children adore you. <laughs> Expectations can't be good for the soul. This time of year it seems it only gets darker, so it's back in the saddle, back in the hole, yeah. The way you look at me, considered forgetting. I Whatever fuss puts the gleam in your eye No major tragedy, there's nothing upsetting It's just that time of year stuff withers and dies But I'm looking up at the bone towers I saw you falling from a 23rd floor Concrete skeletons of logs power heavy Ever going up there anymore? How are you? I see these monuments of lost faces waving the signal flag and trying to break through the cries of strangers in strange places. I never thought that the stranger was you, baby. But I'm looking up at the bone towers. I saw you waving from a 23rd floor. I'm never going up there at this alley. No one's ever going up there anymore. Now, help me, my way.
Awesome, but it's fucking pretty awesome, and, and you can buy it. And, and then we get out on this tour, and 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 the tour manager Nick was like, "Who the fuck are these guys?" It's me and my friend Robert. We've been trying to be low maintenance, but we're still on the maintenance. And he's been lovely to us the whole time. And then there's the fucking crew. So Henry, Ken, Ben, like, have been, have made me feel like a goddamn rock star every night. And when I did, it was a rock star. And then my friend Ross Walker came out of the and I was a little fucking, like, weirdo junkie with eyeliner guy. And pops back in, drags me around Europe, and I would like to thank my friend Rob Hill for doing this. Uh, all right, I used up an entire song to tell you that, but um, this is the last night. I'm going to go back to London. I meet my family. These guys go to Spain. So I, I've spent a shit ton of time in Paris over my life, and it's one of my favorite cities, probably in the world. Um, it's always like hard. Everything's fucking hard. You check into an Airbnb or try to get, you know, your steak tartare without mayonnaise or something. And you're just fucking up all the time. But at the end of the day, I think it's one of those beautiful places. And one of the cities that, and I've been a lot of the world, but 
you've got an amazing city, and thanks for inviting me into the conference. I'm going to leave you with a song not from the record. Um, I wrote this song in about three minutes. I was trying to prove to, to my friends that you could take any title and write a song. That you didn't have to think about it for a fucking year. You just go. So there was a little burn CD on the table and said, Wisconsin Death Trip. And I'm like, like, Wisconsin Death Trip. And, and I write this song and it takes minutes. And I think that's when God's actually working his way through art because it, it ends up being a song that's important to me. And, uh, and so I want to leave you with something that matters. And, and thank you. Well, everybody's calling it in law. Wisconsin Death Trip. And the cold. And back on your feet.
this idea that my friend Patrick Kenny was going to help me kick heroin by taking me to, to Mount Everest. And the idea was that we would just drag Jerry Joseph up to 19,000 feet and, 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 and he was going to, you know, the fucking Buddha was going to come and uh, fucking clean me the fuck out, man. So I went up, and I went up to 19,000 feet, and I never actually like, climbed the mountain that Patrick had. But ever since then, Patrick's been this kind of a guru person to me, and he's been with me in Europe a lot of times. And every time I walk off stage in Europe, he, he asks me if I really love the audience. He's like, did you really love them? Or did you like fucking fake rock star love them, right? <laughs> So I just want to tell you very much, I love you, Paris. Woo! It's been an honor and privilege to play with the drive by truckers and work with the drive by truckers and girls. Every goddamn one of them will take it back. Yeah.